do we doubt ourselves so much? Why do we question if God loves us? If we're different somehow than other people? That I can't possibly be pleasing him. Why do we always feel like we're failing? Just not quite measuring up. And who are we failing ourselves? Other people? The Lord? Why do we get stuck? Expecting so much from ourselves. Instead of having compassion and patience like we'd have for someone else. Is there a part of us that actually hates ourselves? That has never really accepted who we are? Or where we are in life, our condition? Or is there something that we're not letting go of from the past? Why is it so hard to be kind to ourselves? Life seems so hard sometimes and and then we get down and discouraged. And then sometimes we can spiral out and find ourselves in this dark place where we feel so alone, like even God isn't there. Maybe just because we're human And life isn't always easy. And we all have a history. Things that have been said to us and done to us. And sometimes we might even feel like a victim. But then the Lord intervenes after we've wallowed for a while. And he shows himself to us and reminds us of his love and his full acceptance of us. And we feel his presence. In a way, we see his face with a look of compassion and a love like we've never known on this earth. 
the only one who fully knows us, who knows everything about us from the time we were conceived and even before. He knows every detail of our lives. every wound, every rejection, every doubt, every joy, every hope, every expectation. And he cares about everything that concerns us, every detail of our lives. We are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. We're not a mistake. And he's not standing over us, judging us, expecting us to be perfect the way we expect ourselves to be perfect. And he's always walking beside us, even when we can't feel it. Because he's promised to complete the work that he's begun in us. Even when it feels like we're alone. We're not. Ever. Because he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is faithful. He won't break his promises. Why is it that we resist the very things that we need? His word, his presence, we have an enemy, maybe more than one, sometimes we can be our own enemy. But there's also the devil who wants to sidetrack us and keep us from our God-given destiny. And he wants us to focus on everything that's wrong in life and wrong with us. And we know that focus is so important. And the Bible says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. and looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising its shame, and is set down at the right hand of the Father. And we're to think about things of heaven, not things of this earth. It's time to get our eyes back on the Lord and not be swallowed up with this life. The Lord takes our hand and walks beside us. He goes before us, behind us, and he lays his hand of blessing on our head. He is a faithful, amazing, wonderful, kind, loving God and Savior.
let's not turn away from him. The very thing, the very one that we need the most in this world, in this life. In him we live and move and have our being. We can't do this without him. He won't let us. He will always call us back no matter how far we stray. Because he loves us. We need to let him love us. Let go of your burdens today. Give them over to the Lord. He is much more capable of carrying them. And turning everything into something good. Rest in him today.